<laughs> Holy shit! Well, thank you for letting me uh, swing by and record this badass tank. Holy fuck! Um, crazy, maybe I right? shouldn't be saying talking like that on YouTube, but it's crazy from the top. Like you might think, like it's like ah. Eh, no, like from the side it looks awesome, but from the top. Dude, this is awesome. It's a right here in coral reef. Wow. Wow. Got those colors. Wow. One of the nicest display tanks. Check out all that color. This is awesome man. And then there's there's some pieces that are hitting in the back too. Which people don't see but all this fire. Yeah. Lots and lots and lots and lots of fire. Crazy. So are you using any kind of crazy salt or dosing? Yeah. Or? Everything the way we do it is just instant ocean salt because instant ocean doesn't have any buffers uh -huh. and all I do is bionic part one and two and I do all trace elements for uh, all the trace elements from Red Sea and then I do acro power because uh -huh. that's acro power is like my favorite and then from that do acro power and then I, I don't do water changes no it's been like four three four months without a water change <laughs> Because all I do is just, just test, test, because the tests don't lie, you know what I mean? And then I just dose accordingly, and I, oh, and then I, and I use no pox. Yeah, that's what I do, use no pox. And I overfeed the tank pretty much, man. I literally overfeed the tank. You know what I mean? Like, and then I think the best advice I can give to people is leave it alone pretty much. Leave it alone. You know what I mean? Because every single change, like I was saying, like it's just you're gonna have to wait another month and you, you're gonna be upset because you don't see any changes once again. Mm -hmm. And then you change it back to what it was and you're not gonna see any changes for the next month. So I would just leave it for a month or two. If you have polyp extension on anything and they're eating, look like they're full, I would just leave them there and they'll adapt to the light. And they'll come back. Um, they'll look really good. <clears throat> For uh, all the people with LEDs, how, how much are you ramping them up? Or Actually, the LEDs here at... Uh, so, my schedule is they start ramping up at 9 in the morning. 9 in the morning, and then it's 2 hour ramp up, and then have 6 hours of photosynthetic light. Like, it's like the white part. And then they have 2 more hours of ramping down. And what percentage it's do you... Every, uh, the radians run at 100%. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like those. Like, well, the way we did it, we got a par meter. We measured the par. We spaced out the lights accordingly to where you have sufficient amount of light for anything. And you can place, and then you just start recording it, take pictures. You know where your light measurements are at. You know where your light me measurements are at, so you know where you place your corals, and you have success pretty much 100% of the time. You know what I mean? Even 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 if the tank looks really nice right now, like well, of course we have stuff that dies and that does just doesn't adapt, doesn't make it. Uh -huh. I mean, not everything is like 100% sure that it's gonna like be like amazing, you know? This tank is pretty amazing, <laughs> pretty badass, badass tank. Really, really, really nice. I don't know if you took like those purple axes are awesome, man. Just like those are my favorite. They have like the little like the little nose. The little, now and have those Wyoming whites. I put them in like maybe a week ago. 
Oh, that's awesome. I mean, the soil is down there like exploded. I know, and everything's popping up here. Yeah. I love I love it down there, but yeah. up here it's like it's a totally different world, man. And then we actually started adding a lot of frags that nobody wants. They're like discolored and stuff, and uh -huh. they're coming back to life. And now people are asking for <laughs> for a piece of it. For the frags, <laughs> yeah. And they were probably doing all this crazy dosing and changing. Yeah. yeah. Um, you touched on to just take your time and it's, it's patient. It, it's the patient game. I know a lot of people. It's good. A lot of people see a lot of really nice, like like this tank. You know what I mean? Like people see a lot of nice tanks online, mm -hmm. and they think those tanks have been up for like a couple months. Like those tanks have probably been up for like two, three, four, five years, man. Like a little. That's literally how it is. You know what I mean? Like all this stuff that we have here are frags, you know. Of course, there's some colonies, of course, that nobody wants. Now I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll just keep it like that, like that space invader, like that Pectinia down there. I love space invader. You know what I mean? Like I got a little piece from my my friend, yeah. Covey. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like deep. Like I'm telling you, once they adapt, man, like the corals just sink in. Their colors come in like really awesome. Like it's amazing like it's you know what I mean I, I come to the storage tank and I go to my tank and I'm like Man, it's still not even there like it still like needs a lot of like a lot of work wow I told you guys you guys were gonna be in for a treat I really like the way that everything looks up here you know the last video that I did from the eye level on the opposite side of the tank looked amazing but up here on the top down views one of my favorite views of course the side views but right now the top down view is just kicking butt we're gonna have to do another update on this tank later on give it a couple of months because everything is tabling out branching Encrusting everything's doing really 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 good on these uh, rocks the you know the SPS color Really good and you can hear Hear him mention Alan mentioned that he hasn't done a water change on this tank in like four months For all you SPS masters when was the last time that you guys did a water change? Uh, I know there's quite a few of you SPS masters out there that watch YouTube um I'm starting to get into it a little bit. I want to get some uh, SPS frags here and there and uh, see if I can have a little bit of success. But when was the last time you guys did water changes? What do you guys think about this video? And uh, let me know for sure. The easiest thing for me to grow right now as far as SPS is Monopora. I do really good with the Montes. I think probably all of you guys do really well with the Montes, the Bird's Nest also does really good in my tank but you know some of these other things that uh in this 200 gallon tank that's what i want to kind of uh you know have success with lps i do really good softies zoas things like that zoas i'm doing really well but i like to have a more variety of colors in uh, my tank and uh, those sticks those sticks man really have a lot of color into them and as you can see, there's different methods of uh, having a reef tank. You don't have to have straight big, um, the biggest radions that they have. You can do it with, you know, the XR-15s. And uh, they're obviously doing the job, you know. I guess whatever LED that you have, as long as you don't change it up all the time, uh, you can do well with it. Look at my tank. I do really well with the Reef Breeders LED Photon 50s. Um, I do really good. I like it, and uh, it's an easy LED to program. I can leave it unplugged, and uh, it'll keep its program in it. Um, this tank is pretty awesome. Uh, if you're in the area, you guys got to go check it out. Um, because look at all the variety of colors that it does have. But I can't wait. I really look forward to seeing the growth on this tank a few months down the road. I think I'll probably uh, see what I can donate to the tank and um, see how, you know, those frags take off in it. Um, you know, I'll probably see if Alan wants some uh, purple monopora. P 
put a little bit of that in this tank which next to the green monoporter with the red monoporter that would look sweet guys because it's gonna you know start tabling out plating out and it's gonna look pretty sweet so i'm gonna ask them if they want a little bit of that purple and go from there and not only that guys if i have a uh, issue with my purple money or whatever i donate maybe i can get a piece of that back so that's the nice part about fragging you frag with your buddies and then uh if you ever have a problem with your own frag that you gave them you can always get a piece of that back i'm gonna go ahead and get down now but i just want to show you the flow that he's using take a look at the lights you can only see four you know xr15 leds nothing too crazy and for the flow he's using one of those big old gyres and then a tunzy return a uh, tunzy pump and then i don't know what kind of uh, return very very nice impressive tank um it was a lot of fun just hanging out here at the store uh, i was by myself some of the time and I was just looking down and it was all good. Uh, there's the bench and just listen to some advice from Alan. Thanks guys, have a good one. There's a lot of kind of people doing you know, all like they, they just want to see like this 100% of the time. Mm -hmm. So their corals just don't, they, corals need a photosynthetic period at least six hours. You know? Yeah, they just want to leave the blues on. Yeah. Now, the blues don't have any par. They have minimum par, like they, you won't get like the high amount of parts that you need for like the growth I mean, even even the coloration you know. cool tank it's crazy we we been crazy with the strawberry shortcake yeah that's nice that's this 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 one right here is Super cool. The green one? Uh huh. Yeah. It's like yellow on on this. It's like those. I think there's like a very. It's like a Pink Floyd or a Wolverine. Mm. That's that's what people say. It is. We're about to frag it, so if anybody's interested in getting frags, we'll have some coral reef they can order from you online too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know you have an Instagram coral reef. I'll put it below. Nice. Good advice. Yeah, you know, like this. Best advice I give our customers is patience. 